focus? Is it on employee utilization, cost reduction, or worse still, work intensification? I can use agile techniques to make the work more intense. Okay, and that's, that's a distortion, that's a corruption of its principle. And we've had that in lean for many years. Or is a manager focused on creativity, customer outcomes, problem solving, learning and sharing knowledge? It's a very different type of manager. And most of them are not trained to do that. They're trained to do the first one. They've got budgets that are functional. They've got SLAs that are functional. Everything is green, but the customer is red. Leading, adaptive. Does the leader foster a no-blame culture to serve his problems to work on? Or, whose fault is that then? When did that go wrong? What are you going to do about this? That should never happen. Why aren't you following, following the procedure? Well, the procedure doesn't actually work. That doesn't matter. You should be following the procedure. Do leaders pay attention to efficiency-driven function targets or that end-to-end -end effectiveness? And I'm talking about for lean and agile to work together. We've got to have a shared set of measures. Okay? And I can talk about that at length to you and then afterwards. Then improving. Okay, what is it that we want to improve? Not just how the local work, but do every does every person in that value stream help improve other parts of the value stream? Or do I just do my bit? Well look, I've got enough trouble working on my bit. Yes, that's the thinking that's caused all the problem to have trouble. So that you can say, I have enough trouble on my bit. Maybe if we sat back and said, okay, so where is this stuff coming from? These guys are doing things to meet these targets. Remember those balloons? And it's impacting me here. I don't know. He doesn't know. So let's step back and walk and build that process. Do employees influence improving the products and services? Okay. Some do, some don't. And really, from first to last, is respect for people. These are some quotes that um, a delegate to one of my conferences kindly gave me. These are some things that just said naturally, but I'll let you read those. No blame culture. When we say respect for people, this is what we mean. I don't mean, you know, oh, You've got to manage it. You've got to show respect. Yeah, well, I, I, I do um, ethical management. I don't discriminate on age, sex, creed, or anything like that. I expect that. This is going beyond that. I expect you as an indiv individual to have a lot more potential, potential. And I can nurture that. And I create an environment for that. And it's okay to fail as long as we're moving forward. It's a very different type of management approach. And letting the employee choose how to experiment and fix things for themselves instead of me as a manager recycling yesterday's problems <coughs> and solutions to try and fix today's problems. All right? Many people, I've heard managers say, look, let me do that. I've done this job. Yeah. The world has changed. You just look at all the devices. You just look at the community. The world has completely changed. They don't know anymore. They are out of touch. But by sensing and responding and building an environment like this, where we share. And a great example of this is actually this conference, and I was talking to Olaf yesterday. Just imagine if organizations were designed using the business model that you are now creating for this organization. That's totally sense and responding. Okay? And that's really the challenge we all have going forward. So that's the end of my talk.